If you're happy and you know it, sow some seeds. If you're happy and you know it, sow some seeds today to make tomorrow a great day. This is Samuel, our feeder, our piece of farm equipment that doesn't do anything. It's just there to look good, part of my garden. But it reminds me every day that what I do today will affect tomorrow. So the seeds that I sow today, if I don't look after them, if I don't water them, if I don't weed them, if I don't sing to them, if I don't look after everything that I plant today, uh, it's going to have an effect, a consequence, a result tomorrow. Uh, whatever I plant today will affect my tomorrow. So one of the interesting things are the negative thoughts or the positive thoughts that we plant today. So if I say I'm going to have a great day today and tomorrow, am I more likely than if I say oh, I'm going to have a shit day today and a shit day tomorrow? That's those words, and I think words are the ultimate seed, because when you plant a seed into your brain, is it possible, a word into your brain, a thought into your brain, a word thought seed, that it will, it will affect how you feel and it could grow into a something bigger, much bigger. So if you plant a positive thought, a positive seed into your brain, is it possible that that will grow into a big positive thought in your brain and that could change your actions, which could then change your result? If you plant a negative seed into your brain, is it possible that that could grow into something bigger? And has that ever happened to you where something was just a thought and then you thought about it more and thought about it more and thought about it more and it turned into some big overblown challenge or a big problem that really didn't need to be that big, you just watered it with negativity. Uh, and when I say you, uh, that's something that I've, I've just grown out of and I've stopped doing. I refuse to put negative thoughts into my brain and when somebody else puts negativity into my brain, I always turn it into a positive. So if somebody's nasty to me, I turn it into a positive. How can this situation help me grow? How can it make me get better? If somebody says or criticizes me, is, it, is that criticism the truth and how can it make me a better person? If it's not true, how can I get tougher and stronger and wiser because of it? See, all the seeds that people try and plant in us, we don't have to water them. If they're negative seeds, we don't have to water them. If they're positive seeds, we can water them, weed them, grow them. And isn't that awesome that we have a choice? And I'll share that again. Are our words our choice? The thoughts that we put into our head, which are simply words, do we get to choose those? And if we put negative ones in, is it pos possible that they will grow into negative outcomes? So we choose our words, our thoughts, that then controls our actions and that then controls our results. So that's why I've got a cedar in my garden. Samuel the cedar reminds me every day to plant positive things into my brain, into my life. Don't water the negative things, just learn and grow from them. Wouldn't it be awesome to live your life to the max because every day you plant positive seeds that grow into positive actions. Wouldn't that be bloody awesome? Super duper doo, how are you? I'm planting happy seeds today. Woohoo!